What is up guys? We are here and we are playing some Borderlands. I am back with yet another video. Uh, due to the fact that Borderlands 2 is only a few months away, comes out in September, so that's about a month, I figured I'm going to start making some Borderlands videos. I've been preparing since it's on sale on Steam right now for $7.50 for the complete edition. Come on. And right now, I'm going to show you how to find some of the more rare we weapons in the game. And it's uh, a good gun run you guys can do. Alright, so the first crate, when you spawn in Rust Commons East, up there. When you spawn up there, just drive down a straight line. Come down here, here's your first crate. And that's a crappy gun, and that's a pretty decent gun, but I'm going to leave it. Uh... Yeah, so this is a gun run. It's going to be four gun cases that I'm going to show you guys how to how to uh, go and find and get some rare weapons. They're all in a relatively obvious spot except for one. All right, we're coming up to the second case, which is behind this uh, tower thing with the machine gun on it, I do believe. Yes, a big machine gun on it. Let's see what we get. Okay, nothing, no orange weapons, which are the most rare that you can find, besides Pearl Scent, which I think is in one of the expansions. So we got another blue one there, so here's the third crate right next to the other one, which is pretty convenient. Just ignore these uh, spider things or whatever they're called. There's going to be a lot of them. But yeah, there's another gun crate, and these all can generate, red gun crates are the best, so... They all can generate really good weapons. And here we're coming to the last gun crate. And hopefully I can help you guys get some of the best weapons. Because this is usually where I find most of my orange weapons. Which is right here in this nifty little case under the cliff. Alright, no orange weapons this time guys. But here we got some elemental ones. We got some uh, times 2 fire times one uh, corrosive this is a blue so it's pretty rare I guess this one's also blue but nothing good so when you're done just do a nifty little run off the cliff and kill yourself <laughs> yeah you lose a little money but it's worth it so now what you're gonna want to do is exit out of the main menu or out of the game to the main menu single player choose your character and you're gonna spawn right back in where you were and then you can just rerun the same run over and over again as much as you want until you can find your uh, orange weapons and again it is random so it may take a couple times it may be your first try you never know but I figured I might as well make these videos like I said before because Borderlands 2 is on its way and in the few weeks ahead before Borderlands 2, I plan on playing a lot of Borderlands and uploading a lot of tips and other things for you guys. So there's a quick 500 XP on that guy. Run over here, and as you will see, the crates have respawned. And you will run into a couple class mods here every once in a while, which are nice to pick up since they are worth a lot of money, like this one, 14 grand. Uh, here's another one, five grand, and these grenades, which, oh wait, that's not a grenade, it's a shield, but it's not as good as mine. Oh, uh, let me rerun that run real quick for you guys, so you don't have to rewind it, and see if we can't get ourselves an orange weapon. Alright, so, you can go down the road, or just take this nifty shortcut, and just go right towards this turret tower, I guess you can call it. Just avoid these spider things. Spider ants, what are they called? Sp spider ant, yeah. Alright, here's another crate. Anything? No. And if anything, you can just grab all these weapons and sell them and make cash money. And, jeez, more class mods. What is that? 4,000, I don't know, 8,000. Look at three blue class mods right there. So there you go, guys. You never know what you're gonna get. Life's like a box of chocolates, right? 
Let's see the backwards. All right, and again, hop up on this rock right where it starts to smooth out here. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's just like this, this, and then you see this little area that smooths out. Hop on it, run up the little cliff, run down the other side. Do not be careful of jumping. If you jump too high, you will get shot by that turret. But yeah, you will see a little warning. You'll be fine as long as you stay underneath the cliff. Open up, and this is is where I get most of my rare weapons, right on this one down here. And here we find a sniper. That is better than the one I have, in my opinion. Since fire rate, I don't really care too much about. <clears throat> and the zoom, ooh, we got a lot of zoom. All right, so I found a nice weapon. And again, run off the edge. Wash, rinse, and repeat, my fellow subscribers and hopefully soon to be subscribers so that was it Let me kill one of these freaking okay I see how it is Ooh. alright <laughs> that was the video I hope you guys liked it hope you guys can go out there and find some uh, rare weapons of your own such as this gun that shoots bullets in a circle but uh once again, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed.